you are welcome to a great moment in destiny. God is about to speak directly to you. And the message coming right up is crafted by heaven, not just to challenge you, but to align your destiny. As you embrace divine instruction, expect that God's word is bringing about revival, healing, restoration, and transformation to your entire life. With faith in your heart and great expectation, join me and receive God's word through his choice vessel, Good Heart Obi Ekweme. They never bond that servant that he would be asking me why, when, how. He just comes into alignment and he does whatever I say. This man was saying, Jesus, all authority belongs to you. I'm getting ahead of myself now. That I know that you rule over every principality and power. Even though I'm, I know that my servant's case is a bad case. With my own mouth, I even said it. That is grievously tormented. Not just to be tormented is one thing. To be grievously tormented is another level. I know that the whole of hell came together against my servant to say, you, you will not go. But I understand authority that even though they gather in their large measure, when you release the authority of your word, <laughs> hey, your word will go forth. For through the greatness of the power of your word, every demon, no matter how strong, will submit themselves. The Bible says in Psalm 63 verse 3, it says, Say thou unto God, how terrible art thou in thy works. For through the greatness of thy power, thine enemies shall submit themselves. And when the word was spoken, guess what? It's as if the enemy, you know, the Bible talks about the power of God's word. He says, once has God spoken, twice have I heard it. The power belongs to God. The Bible says there is no power but that which is of God. Guess what happened? When Jesus spoke that word, the power of God was released. And when the power of God goes forth, it goes forth like fire. It goes forth like thunderstorms. It goes forth like a blowing tempest. And when that power entered into the body, in fact, the power did not even enter into the body of the centurion. Just the demonic activities around that centurion, locating the power coming in their direction, they just took <laughs> They just took cover. And the Bible says that man immediately recovered. Why? Because the greatness of God's power was introduced uh, through the word of God. And I'm wondering, if I was in that man's situation, would I actually give my, would I put my faith in the word of God like that man did? Or I would rather say, Jesus, please come. It's better that you are in my boat than we are sure of what's going on here. You know, in John chapter 4, there was a similar story of a noble man whose son was sick. The Bible says in John 4, 47, the Bible says when this noble man heard that Jesus was come out of Judea unto Galilee, he went to Jesus and besought him, saying, please come down and heal my son. The Bible says for his son was at the point of what? Death. Media. Then Jesus said unto him, Except you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. And the nobleman said unto Jesus, Sir, all the story that you are telling, did you hear what I said? My son is at the point of death. Please hurry up. The man in desperation cried out, Sir, come down here, my son die. Or girl, you know, hurry up. You know, before the son dies, Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy son liveth. And the man believed the word that Jesus had spoken unto him when he went his way. This man went to Jesus and said, Jesus, I want you to come to my house and lay hands on my son. Because he's at the point of death. You know, and Jesus was not willing to go. Like in the, he was willing to heal him. But Jesus didn't have plans of going there. Jesus said, I will come. No, um, he, the man said, Jesus should come. Then Jesus was talking. Then the man expressed his desperation. Media, please leave it on the screen. The man expressed his desperation and said, Jesus, come quickly, lest my son die. When you look at the scripture, you will see that where this man was, this noble man, the distance between where he was and where Jesus was, was at least 20 miles. Because when you look at the end of that story, the Bible says that when 
the man believed and was going his way, his servants came to him and said, Oh, your son leaveth. And he asked them when it was that the son began to amend. And they said unto him, Yesterday at the seventh hour. So that means when the man left Jesus to start going home, he did not get home until the next day. Does that make sense? You know, and I'm thinking to myself, you see Jesus, your son is almost dying. And that means that Jesus too will not arrive until your house till the next day. If this man had the spiritual sense that the centurion had, all you should have done when you saw Jesus was, Jesus, my son is at the point of death. Speak the word. Because no matter what, before Jesus gets to 20 miles, the next day journey, this child would have died, true or false. So if the man had the same spiritual sense the centurion had, he didn't even need to come to ask Jesus to come to his home. All he needed to say is, Jesus, speak the word. Is somebody saying why you need to develop your faith in the word this morning? He's, you know, speak the word only. And that was what Jesus himself knew. That if I follow you home, your son will still die. So instead of agreeing to come with him, Jesus said to him, <laughs> your son liveth. Jesus chose to speak the word instead. And that sent word went and healed that son and drove away that disease. And the Bible says that when he asked them when the son began to amend, it was at the same seventh hour when the word was spoken. Which means that when you look at the story and the story of the centurion servant, you see that when the word of God is sent, the work that it does is operative. It, it, it really, the, the, that word is effective immediately. That word, the power that comes from the word is not the power that the enemy can negotiate against. The power that comes from the word brings instant deliverance, instant recovery, all that we will build our faith uh, in the living word of God. That's why the Bible says when the son of man comes, uh, shall he find active faith in the word of God. And these two people got their results, exactly what they wanted. Why? Because they released their faith uh, in the word of God. We see here that distance is not a barrier to the word of God. You can stand here and be speaking to a child in Tokyo and speak to the organs of that child and say, organs, hearts, align. I speak the word of God to you. Hearts begin to pump uh, and the authority and the power of God's word uh, will move from your mouth in Abuja to Tokyo and bring about a recovery of the iota of the blood vessels uh, of air, uh, of all the of all the parts of that blood and jack it back to life uh, because there is no distance uh, in the barrier of the spirit uh, when it comes to the operation of the word of God working in your life uh, somebody say I believe in the power of God's word a voice of one calling in the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain, and the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people will see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. It is often asked, where is the God of Elijah? Well, the time has come to seek the Elijahs of God. Revival House of Glory International Church carrying the torch of revival across the nations. People often ask, where is the God of Elijah? Well, God is asking, where are the Elijahs of God? At Rajik, we are grooming men and women with the tools to make the difference in everyday life. Join us every Sunday at 8 a.m. and on Wednesdays at 5.45 p.m. for fresh insights to translate your life from the mundane to the glorious. 
Venue is Golden Bird Event Center, Plot 859A Ame Ebute Street, Wie District, Abuja. On Olushagun Obasanjo Way, make the turn into Anyim Pios Anyim Street, then take the right turn onto Ame Ebute Street. Your host is Goodheart Obi Ekweme. Revival is here again. Revival House of Glory International Church is an expression of the Horn of Revival Ministry. Somebody say, I believe in the power of God's word. You must learn people to develop your authority in the word of God, your, in the authority and the power of God's word. The Bible says in Luke eleven twenty one 21, that when a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his goods are at peace. But when a stronger one has come upon him and overcome him, you know where people begin to get into trouble when it comes to healing and health? When you say somebody has to be stronger, that's how it happens in the world. Somebody has to be on top, the other person has to be in the realm of the spirit. There has to be a stronger one. So you have to determine that am I going to be the stronger one? I will allow the spirit of infirmity who is your enemy and has vowed before you were even born that he was going to try and harass you, that he's going to be stronger. He says, media, bachala you. He says, when a stronger one is come and overcomes him, he takes from him his armor where he trusts and divides his paws. There are many ways people have interpreted this, for the, but for the purpose of what we are saying this morning, what that means is that you must be the stronger one. You must ensure that you are generating stronger power against every opposition that faces you on a daily basis. In this life, you cannot afford to be the weaker one. You can't allow, afford to let your opponent be more powerful than you. And one of the ways you develop power and develop strength uh, is through the word of the Lord. Uh, when you build the power and the authority of God's word in your spirit uh, and you begin to release it regularly through spoken words, uh, guess what? You become the stronger one. Uh, when you release the power of God's word in faith, uh, you will become stronger and that power will overcome every long-standing problem you've ever faced. Uh, it will overcome it for like I said earlier on through the greatness of his power our assignment is to develop the greatness of God's power some of us were yes you were developing some levels of power but guess what? Power passes power. God is saying to you this morning, go higher. Go for greater power. Go for greater power. This God you're serving, he's terrible in his works. Go and ask the devil how terrible God is. He will tell you. But you see, until you develop the terribleness of God's power, until you bring the terribleness of God's power onto action, the enemy will be having a field day. But when you push out the terribleness of God's word, in his full power, in his full dimension, you are putting the enemy in trouble and every enemy will submit themselves. This man was saying, the centurion, I know this power, this situation looks hopeless, but power belongs to God. I know that my servant is grievously tormented and it looks like there's no other way. But power belongs to God. I know that this is a disease that has taken everybody out. But power belongs unto God. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way as you have believed. Be it done unto you. And his servant was healed in the selfsame hour. Romans 1.16 says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. For it's the power. Somebody say power. power. 
is the power of God unto salvation. And we know that that same word salvation is the same word soteria that we use for the same word for um, healing for your body, peace for your soul, for your preservation. That means the word of God, this gospel that we preach is not entertainment. Uh, this gospel is the same gospel that created you. It's the same word that created you and it's the power God has given unto you unto your recovery, unto your wholeness. But this power is only released to them that believe. He says this power is released to heal you when you believe. That means that your faith must be applied to the word of God. Your faith must be applied. You must apply your faith to that which God has spoken concerning you. That means as you're hearing God's word right now, what you should be doing is mixing the word with faith in your heart that this is God coming to me now. This is God speaking to me now. Therefore, I receive the power in God's word to make my body whole, strong, delivered, saved, healed now. And with this power, I tread upon serpents. I tread upon scorpions. I tread upon high blood pressure. I tread upon arthritis. I tread upon the spirit of infirmity. I tread upon every delay. I tread upon all the power of the enemy. And guess what? Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Somebody say today, as I hear the word of God, I mix it with faith in my heart. I receive the power of God's word to make my body whole, saved, delivered, healed now. And with this power, I tread down the spirit of infirmity in this month of June, I tread the spirit of infirmity under my feet. I tread down weariness. I tread down tiredness. I tread upon malaria. I tread upon typhoid fever and every disease from the pit of hell. And I decree and I declare with full assurance of faith in my heart that nothing shall by any means hurt me. Nothing shall by any means hurt me. Nothing uh, shall by any means hurt my children. Nothing uh, shall by any means hurt my spouse. Uh, no manner of hurt uh, is found in my body nor in my mind uh, because I believe in my God. Uh, upon my body, the fire plotted and orchestrated from hell has no power. My body will not even smell of the fire because I trust in my God. I receive today the mighty working of the power that raised Christ from the dead to quicken my physical body. Therefore, I speak to you, my heart. Jacob, in the name of Jesus, lungs receive life. Immune system be built up. Bones and marrow align to full length of days uh, and strength of days. Uh, mind, uh, jack up in the name of Jesus. I receive the mind of Christ. Uh, I receive the operation uh, of the power of God. Uh, the same power that created me also heals me also restores me, also replaces damaged organs. Uh, I speak to any ungodly growth uh, in my body by the authority of God's word. Uh, Die right now from your roots. Wither and dry right now from your roots. Wither and dry up right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am loosed from every infirmity. From the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. In this month of June, it is for me. From strength to strength, from glory to glory. None shall be feeble amongst our tribe. We are the company of the healthy and of the wealthy. Father, we thank you. We give you praise and we give you glory, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we just thank you. Let's just lift our hands. The house of Judah, come up. Father, we bless you. You are good and your mercies endures forever. Is somebody receiving God's healing touch today? Is somebody receiving God's healing power today? You see, I want to beg of you people. Um, I haven't finished my message and I feel I will continue in the main service. My flesh doesn't want to do it. But my spirit will do it for one reason and my body will align. You know, if you look at this year alone, 
and you look at the number of people that have been taken out by illnesses, it will tell you something that you need to wake up. You need to wake up to begin to study the word and begin to eat the word and vex in your spirit and say, I am not missed meat for the enemy to be taken out. Why did Jesus pour out his blood? Why did they pay the full sacrifice? But you see, as a people, we need to wake up. We need to jack up. We need to take responsibility and stay with the word day and night and push the word of God to come to full manifestation and operation in our lives because God has not designed you to be taken out by the adversary. God has programmed you for full length of days and full strength of days. He says, I place before you life and death, blessing and cursing. But he says, I cannot force you to stay in health. I cannot force you to enjoy life. He says, you choose. And your choice will be determined by how much attention you give to the word of God concerning your healing and health. He says, a man through desire separates himself. There's nobody that can, nobody eats for you. In the same way, nobody is going to help you study the word. A lazy man spiritually means you are ready to live a life where the devil just hits your head day and night. But there's need to go into the word for there is strength in the word. And there's a victory for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's just lift up our hands and bless him again. Father, we thank you because you were good. Your mercy is endures forever. Thank you for opening your hands and satisfying us with wholeness, with well-being. Thank you for that which you are working, rearranging our bodies, quickening our minds, destroying yokes and removing burdens. We are not just welcoming you. We know you've already started to work. And we are thanking you for what you have done so far. And we are thanking you for what you are yet about to do in this service. And so once again, Holy Spirit, we say, continue to do what you're doing in greater manifestation, in greater power. And we give you praise and glory for it, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Let's welcome the ministry of House of Judah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Good morning, church. You have just experienced the preaching and teaching ministry of Goodheart Obi Ekweme, lead pastor of Revival House of Glory International Church, Rajik, and the apostolic leader of the Horn of Revival Ministry, HORM, a global outreach ministry mandated to carry the torch of revival across cities and nations. If you would like to ask a question, share your prayer request or testimony, or get more messages or books from Goodheart, please call or text 0805-223-4444 or email info at rogic.org. Also, download the Horn of Revival Ministry app on Google Play or Apple Store to connect with a variety of free quality resources including Rogic Radio and our refreshing daily devotions to take you higher in life. Keep hearing the Word of God it will produce intimacy with his spirit for uncommon encounters on the earth.